Hi, I'm Dan Taylor, a program manager working on our developer tools for Azure. In this video, I'm going to show how you can use Application Insights in Visual Studio to find and diagnose runtime exceptions in your production Azure applications. First, I'll show how you can use the new Application Insights failures experience to find and prioritize the most important failures in your application to investigate. Then I'll show how you can get visibility into code and local variables causing exceptions by using debug snapshots, which are automatically collected by Application Insights when exceptions are thrown in production. Then I'll show how you can use the powerful analytics in Application Insights to analyze the user impact of those exceptions. And finally, how you can file a bug so that your team can keep track of the issue. I'll be showing you all of this in a demo application. Let's go ahead and take a look. Here I am in the Azure portal looking at my dashboard for the Fabricam Fiber app. This app is running an app service, and I've configured it to send data to this Fabricam Prod Application Insights resource. I can open the Application Insights resource to look at the various failure and request telemetry that Application Insights has collected for my application. Here on the overview, I can see a chart of all the failed requests that are happening over time. I can click on this failed request to be taken to the new Application Insights failures experience that helps me get analytics of all the failures that are happening in my production application. On the left-hand side, I can see all of the failed requests. And on the right-hand side, I can see all of the exceptions or dependency calls that are failing across my whole application. If I see this HTTP exception, for example, I can click the filter icon, which will show me all of the operations that are failing as a result of that HTTP exception. I can then clear the filter to see all of the operations again. I can also switch to the Exceptions tab to see a list of all of the exceptions that are being thrown in my application. So let's go back to the operations for a minute here. And we see that this Get Customer Details operation is failing, and I'm particularly interested to know why. When I select that, I can see on the right-hand side that this is failing because of a system.format exception. When I click this count of 770, I can see the list of individual instances of this exception that are failing, and then I can click on the exception to view details. I see that it says here that an input string was not in a correct format, but I don't know what that string was or what the format it was expecting. If I scroll down, I can see the call stack, including the function and the line number that this failed on, but I'm still missing the variables that were causing this failure. To get that, I can click this Open Debug Snapshot button that's available on the exception in the Application Insights portal. Here I'm presented with a debug snapshot that was collected the moment that this exception was thrown in the production environment. And I can click up and down the call stack to view variables by scrolling down that were set the time the exception was thrown. Here I can see that the zip variable was containing some letters and numbers inside of the string. I can also download this, this exception to open it in Visual Studio Enterprise. By clicking on the file that was downloaded, Visual Studio opens it up and presents me with a debugging view. I want to debug this exception using the managed debugger in Visual Studio, so I'm going to click Debug with Managed Only. When I do that, it takes me inline in code and shows me the exception as well as the local variables that were present the time the exception was thrown. I can hover over the variables using my mouse, and I can see that this zip code string, which contains both letters and numbers, was passed to the int32.parse function, which then threw an exception because the string did not only contain numbers. Now I understand why this exception is happening. Here in the code, I can also see an Application Insights code lens that tells me that these exceptions are happening in the production environment. So even if I wasn't looking at the Application Insights portal, I could be made aware that 768 instances of these exceptions have been thrown in the last 24 hours of my application. I can also click on the User Impact button to analyze the user impact of this exception using the Application Insights Analytics portal. This pre-populates a query that will show me when this exception was being thrown and how many users were impacted over the last 24 hours. I can see that there was a spike in exceptions 
just this morning, and that there was an additional user being impacted from that exception. I can do additional analysis here using the analytics portal. For example, I can say exceptions, summarize count by type, which will show me the summary, the number of each exception type that are being thrown. Now if I want to see how these exceptions change over time, I can say summarize count by type by bin timestamp one hour, which will show me the count per hour per type, and then I can display that in a time chart. Now I see all of the exceptions graphed over time, and I see these little click to diagnose buttons that allow me to understand why there's a particular spike that's happening during this point in time. If I click on that, it will analyze the features of the graph, and it will tell me what's distinct at this point in time about that spike. And it's identified two different patterns. And I can see on the second pattern that these were all coming from a user with ID 3mol3 from this IP address. I can also use a feature of Application Insights called Auto Cluster. So say I want to look at more details about this system.format exception. So I can say where type is equal to system.format exception. And then I say evaluate Auto Cluster. So this will automatically identify the different buckets of patterns that are contributing to this exception. And here I see there is a bunch of different buckets of these exceptions, all with about uh, 144 instances. And then there is a smaller bucket with 43 instances. And I can see in this table all of the different patterns that are similar for each bucket. I can see that the first four buckets were all exceptions caused by Application Insights availability monitoring tests. And finally, this last bucket here is all caused by one user with that same user ID, 3mol3, that was shown over there. And I can see that IP address again. Now that I've understood this exception better, I can go back to the Application Insights portal and create a work item that my team can use to track this issue by clicking on that new work item button. It automatically populates with some issues, and I can provide additional information here for my team. And that bug is now filed. That was a quick tour of how you can use Application Insights to quickly find and root cause exceptions in your production applications. You can get started finding exceptions in your own applications right now by following the tutorial that we've published at aka.ms slash AI exceptions. Thank you for watching.